In three days, you will fly from New York to Beijing, where you will transfer to a commercial airline that takes you directly to Pyongyang. I'm sorry, this is completely unrelated, but um, what happened to your glasses? Oh, I, I got LASIK. Between the time I saw you and now? Yes. OK. Now, our intelligence suggests that you will be taken here to Kim Jong-un's personal compound. So preceding the interview, you are going to shake Kim's hand, administering a fatal dose of poison with this, a transdermal time-delayed ricin strip. When you shake his hand, the poison will be absorbed into his skin where it metabolizes for a 12-hour period. Nobody will have any idea you two were involved. No one will know? The United States must maintain total and complete Deniability. Total deniability? Obviously. This is what I picture. What did you picture? I walk in there like a fucking gangster and blow his little fucking ass away on television. This is a major television event. You don't want to blow it with an off-screen death, OK? Look, in porno, we call this the money shot. You don't have a bunch of dudes going at it. And then right before they finish, you cut to black and say, oh, don't worry, 12 hours later, they came all over each other? No! You want them all over close up, all over his face. The end. Ah. Bam! What kind of porn are you watching? What happens when all of his guards start firing back at you for killing their leader right in front of them? It's a My good question. bulletproof vest. No, you don't have a bulletproof vest. You don't have one of those. I will dodge those bullets. What happens after you escape the compound, Dave? I look back over my shoulder. I see Aaron. I grab him by the hand. We run out into the woods. Perhaps there's a secret tunnel there. We exit said tunnel at a designated spot. SEAL Team 6 swoops in, puts us on one of those inflatable motorboats. We hit the waters. We're out of there on our way to you. If you did try to do this, what would kill you first? Sub-freezing temperatures. I don't like the cold. OK, we Starvation. Wear... Starve to death. You tell me the CIA doesn't have North Face jackets and some pirate booty? Captain Crunch? What about Siberian tigers? Did you think about that? What? You're not going to shoot him. <clears throat> There's not going to be a bulletproof vest. And nobody is going to know that you had anything to do with this. That's it. That's the plan, period. OK, two years later, I come out with my best-selling tell-all. An unexpected journey, Dave Skylark's adventures in North Korea. You can't write a tell all We were in the oddly shaped gray room at the CIA headquarters. <sighs> the titillating Agent Lacey. Stop doing that. Why? There's no tell all. There's no tell all, Agent Lacey said. She looked at him. She trembled with rage. Or was it passion? Stop it. I just want everybody to know that I know what you did to me. What? With the glasses. Honeycombed me. What does that even mean? You honeypotted him. It's honeypot. You honeypotted him. You honeypotted him. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I didn't. He said a lot of stupid shit in the last 10 minutes, but for reals, you did honeypot him. I bet you got him in here as a honey dick just in case I'm gay, but I'm not. But if I was, I would have seen him coming a mile away. You honey dicking? Look, she's not honeypotting you, and I'm not honey dicking him. It's very offensive, because basically, if you think about what you're saying to me, you're saying because I'm a girl and because I'm attractive, my only use for this agency would be to manipulate men. I think it's offensive, too, and that's exactly what I said to Aaron. I said, that bitch is blind as a bat. Can we please move on? We have a dictator to kill. When handling the rice in the strip, operate with extreme caution. Even momentary flesh contact with the exposed strip is fatal. The poison will lay dormant for 12 hours. After it passes the blood-brain barrier, your heart rate would shoot up to 160. Your body will strain to reject the poison by profusely sweating, defecating, vomiting. Within minutes, you will be dead. Okay. Got it? Aaron peels off the film marked A, exposing the adhesive coating and applies the strip to Dave's palm. Okay. Aaron will then remove the film marked B, exposing the ricin. Clear, clear. Okay. Dave needs to appear casual as he is transferred from his room to the broadcast okay. facility. Okay. It is critical that he keeps his hand open and touches nothing. Uh, Dave Skylar. <laughs> Mr. Kim, just shaking hands. Hi. Nice to meet you. Dave will bow to Kim, then shake his hand, immediately disposing of the strip in his jacket pocket, which will be lined with an absorbing agent that denatures the poison. Mr. 
Master Skylark, so you'll just place the ricin case in this pouch here. It will magnetically seal, and then you're good to go. So you want me to carry this bag? This is the bag. This is a douche bag. The watches conceal an array of tactical functions. How you stay in contact with me in the command center. Aaron to Dave. All radio communication should be done using call signs. Cool. Dave, you are Dung Beetle, and Aaron, what? you are Artwork. I what? can't even carry this thing. What do you mean you can't carry it? Aerodynamics are all off. It's hitting my leg. It's, like, bulky. Please remember, gentlemen, you are entering into the most dangerous and unpredictable country on Earth. Kim Jong-un is a master manipulator. These people revere him as a god. They'll believe anything he tells them, including that he can speak to dolphins, or he doesn't urinate and defecate. Oh, oh, oh. You're telling me my man doesn't pee or poo? I'm telling you he does, and he lies to his people, and they believe him. Everybody pees and poos. Where would he go otherwise? He'd explode. But he does talk to dolphins.